Welcome back to another episode of This Week on Channel 9. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Cloud Developer Advocate. And uh, has anyone heard any good commit jokes lately? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We'll have plenty of Git jokes uh, later as we get into this week's dev news. And so first up, the biggest news of the week is undoubtedly the news that Microsoft, that's the company I work at, has acquired GitHub, the code hosting platform beloved by millions of developers. Now, I already have laptops littered with GitHub stickers, and now it just feels even more right. I would be wearing a GitHub shirt today, but alas, I don't have any that fit me, so don't worry. I've ordered a few items, so next show I should be wearing the OctaCat proudly. Now look, this is huge news, and I for one welcome our new Git overlords. But obviously this news comes with lots of questions and even some concerns from the broader dev community. But speaking only for myself, I want to say that I'm totally excited. GitHub is going to remain independent and will run as a separate company, and so there's not a lot of need to worry about what's going to happen to your code. In the show notes, I've included links to the official announcements from Microsoft and GitHub, as well as a note from Nat Friedman, who will be taking over as GitHub CEO as soon as the deal closes. And Nat also did a Reddit AMA this week to answer specific questions from the community, so check that out. It's also in the show notes. And for VSTS users, Lori Lampkin has a great blog post up, also in the show notes, explaining what this will mean for customers using VSTS and TFS. In non-GitHub news, the Visual Studio's team has some big news, primarily that the next version of Visual Studio will be called Visual Studio 2019. There's a blog post in the show notes, as well as a link to the latest episode of the Visual Studio Toolbox show here on Channel 9 and the Microsoft Developer YouTube with more information. The big takeaway is that the VS team wants to release Visual Studio 2019 quickly and iteratively. So that also means that you'll be able to do stuff like install Visual Studio 2019 previews alongside Visual Studio 2017. Now, there's nothing to test yet. Stay tuned in the coming months. And obviously, we'll be covering all the latest developments on Channel 9 and on this show. In Visual Studio Code news, the May update of Visual Studio Code is out now. Yay! Our own Brian Clark has a great highlights video, as usual, showing off all the new stuff in Visual Studio Code 1.24. And some of my personal favorite features include a preview of a new GUI-based setting screen. Now, I personally don't mind making edits in the config file, but I've talked to lots of devs who prefer a well-designed GUI. And uh, when it comes to onboarding new users from other code editors, this is definitely a good thing. Some other highlights uh, from my perspective include font zoom commands, which is really useful for presentations and for pair programming. And also, import paths for JavaScript and TypeScript are now automatically updated when something is moved or renamed, and that's super rad. Check out all the new features in the release notes and in Brian's video, and download the latest version of VS Code now to get these features. Speaking of Brian Clark, he is a guest on the latest episode of Five Things right here on Channel 9. Jean Papa talks to Brian all about bots. Also on Channel 9 this week, Golnaz interviews Kelly Anderson, a product marketing manager for the Azure security team. And it's an awesome interview, so please check it out. In conference news, yours truly will be hosting Tech Days Online from London next week. Yay! So from June 12th through the 14th, we will be live streaming content from across four technical tracks over the course of three days. So we'll be focusing on stuff like mixed reality, containers and microservices, data and AI, and quantum computing. Be sure to check it out. The links will be in the show notes and we'll be streaming live on YouTube and Facebook. And now it's time for my pick of the week. I almost went with some of the truly epic GitHub and Microsoft memes. Uh, the clippy ones were my personal favorites. But I got to go with this video that combines my love of movies and acapella music. So kudos to my pal and former coworker Rhett Jones over at Gizmodo for finding this video of a dude recreating the old THX logo theme in acapella. Apparently, it's the 35th anniversary of the theme, which makes me feel old. So that's very rude of THX to do that, but this is cool. I'm not going to say that this is the best rendition of the logo theme, but it's awesome, and it made me smile. And that does it for me. I will be in London next week, and I'm going to try to convince the nice ladies and gents in London to let me record TWC9 there. But in the event that it doesn't work out, I'll see you the week after. Please like and subscribe um, our channel on YouTube. It really helps. And if you are a masochist like me, turn those notifications on. See you next time.